I've got an 86% against the spread situation, also a 43-11, and 11, 80% over-under angle, both in the Air Force Army game for this Saturday. I'm going to give those to you side and total coming up in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down maybe not the most high-profile matchup this Saturday, November 2nd, but it's still a good money-making opportunity. Air Force at Army, early kickoff, noon Eastern on CBS, and had to ask my friend and colleague at wagertalk.com, Ralph Michaels, stat daddy, the human database, father of Jeff, the pin, to give me the updated numbers on Service Academy's over-unders, because we just blindly play the unders in these games. It's either under or pass, and even though that Navy Air Force game got up and over the total a few weeks ago, it still landed on 41, which is the current total in this game. In fact, the last 12 Service Academy meetings, going back the last four plus years, have all stayed 41 or less. They're now 43 and 11 to the under 80% of the past couple decades. And it makes so much sense because once again, Air Force, Army, Navy, that's what I mean by service academies. When they play, they all run the triple option. They run the ball basically every play, keeps the clock moving, prevents big scoring strikes through the air. And also both defenses see it all the time in practice. So this is an angle we caught on to years ago, and it's just cast and cast and cast. Now, the odds makers, of course, as they do, they start correcting. A decade ago, these totals were in the 50s. In fact, the average total over those last 55 games, which have gone 43, 11, and 1 to the under, the average total is right under 47 points. So, yes, there has been some adjustment in recent years. In fact, we look at the most recent meetings the last couple seasons, we had totals of 37, 28, 32, 34, 32, and 40 and a half, 38, 36, 37. So, we still have seen unders in most of those. We did see that eight, that Navy Air Force game get 34-7, get up and over a few weeks ago, about a month ago on October 5th. But that's because Air Force is horrendously bad this year. However, that game still landed 41. In fact, the last 12 service meeting, academy meetings, Army, Air Force, Navy, have all been 41 or less. So I do think this line is inflated. I do think the 43-11 under angle makes some sense in this game on Saturday. The reason the total is bigger is because Army is a huge favorite, a 22-point favorite, and boy, is that unusual. In fact, going back to 1995, Ralph Michaels at wagertalk.com pointed out that we've only had this happen seven times that we've had a favorite of basically two and a half touchdowns or more, and the dog is actually just one in six. So you would think, you know, running underdogs, keep the game close, low-scoring unders, that would favor the big dog, but that hasn't been the case. Now, what's interesting is, is six of those seven meetings have been Air Force as a huge favorite of 17 or more, 16 and a half or more to be exact, over Army. Now the tables are turned, my friend, and Army is the big favorite here. And I do like the cadets here to get the cover as well. And once again, that's an angle that's gone six and one going back nearly 30 years, playing favorites of 16 and a half or more in these service academy games. The favorite is six and one ATS. And the reason is because when the underdog gets behind, they can't catch up. And this is a big mismatch. In fact, Air Force is winless. 0-6 straight up in ATS this year against all FBS opponents, whereas Army is perfect straight up and against the spread this year. They're 7-0 straight up, 6-0 against the spread because last week's game against East Carolina landed exactly on the number finally. So maybe the odds makers are catching up. They're inflating the line enough. Nope. I've run 10,000 simulations through my database, and on average I've got Army winning this game by over 30 points. So the minus 22 makes plenty of sense, plenty of line value still. I like Army minus 22, and I like under 41, which is a very key number. It's got to be 41 or more, and both of those have some historical backing. Once again, thanks to the database master, the chart master, the human database, Ralph Michaels at wagertalk.com. And of course, you can get Ralph's great work on X, also on Twitter, at CalSportsLV. Hey, don't forget also to check out my best bets at wagertalk.com. Each and every day, I try to put a free play up as well. Get Saturday's college football free play right now on my page at wagertalk.com. You can check out the personal best bets as well. You know, one of the reasons I do so many of these free play videos throughout the week is because I know many of you are doing your own handicap and you want to play these national TV spotlight games, these high-profile games each week. And most of the time, these are 1% leans, light opinions. I give you some insight and analysis of what I'm looking at. Sometimes I do make my best bet card, but if you want my official best bets, of course, my strong 4% plays each and every day, you need to be a direct client at wagertalk.com. And right now, you can save over $800 on a one-year all-sport, all-access with promo code SM365. Gets it down to just about $3 a day, just a dollar per play for the next 365 days and nights of football, basketball, baseball, college, and pro. Use promo code SM365. Also, if you want to try the basketball-only package, I do have a special 30-day NBA package for just $5 a day. 149 30-day NBA sampler. 
I'm number one all time in the history of wager talk in profits one in the NBA, including up over 200 units the last three years alone. So once again, if you want to add basketball to your football subscriptions, now's the time to do it with a 30-day NBA sampler for just 149 Hey, I know what you noticed, the Gold Sheet hoodie, right? We had the Wager Talk hoodie the last few weeks. I got so much positive support that they sent me a Gold Sheet hoodie as well. And as a special thank you, we are doing a Gold Sheet promotion this week. For those of you doing your own handicapping, one of the best supplements you can have every week is the Gold Sheet newsletter. And you can get it for just $5 this week by using promo code GOLDWEEK5. Go to wagertalk.com slash goldsheet and use promo code GOLDSHEET5, uh, GOLDWEEK5, that's G-O-L-D-W-E-E-K, the number 5, GOLDWEEK5, and get this week's Gold Sheet newsletter for just $5. It's a great resource. I've used it for decades. In fact, it's been around longer than I have, over 50 years, and it still is fighting its way on to winners each and every week for you. Tons of analysis, write-ups on all the college and pro football games. It's a great resource. If you want to try it out, this is the week to do it, a special promo code, Gold Week 5 gets you the gold sheet for just $5 this week also at wagertalk.com. Hey, don't forget, if you're finding these videos useful, thumbs up, like, comment below because I do read the comments. I reply back. Also, click subscribe and hit that bell as well for instant alerts. You know, when these free play videos go up throughout the week, of course, my college football top 25 video NFL fade the public videos are the most popular each week and you'll get an instant alert when they go live. Click the bell when you subscribe. Thumbs up, like, and comment below if you're liking these free play videos. I will keep them coming. And let me know what games you're looking at this week in both college and pro football. Hey, also, follow me on social media, at Steve Merrill. You know the deal. Two R's, one L. At Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free content coming up next.